वेलकम वेलकम टू राजव अकाउंट्स सो टुडे लेट्स टेक अवर इंट्रोडक्शन टू अकाउंटिंग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो अबाउट व्हाट इज अकाउंटेंसी व्हाट इज अकाउंटिंग एंड व्हाट इज बुक सो if you see what is accounting what is accounting what is accountancy what is accounting and bookkeeping normally you know very well every business person okay he wants to know whenever he is maintaining one particular business he has to maintain some accounts there because unless and until he maintains the accounts he will not be able to know how he is performing so it is a must for any particular type of a business organization whether it might be a sole trading concern or a partnership or any particular company or any particular business establishment there first of all they should be able to know what are the expenses they are incurring what in incur, what incomes they are earning and again what is their financial position so every businessman want to know about his particular performance of his business so for that purpose he should maintain the books of accounts there so let's see the first of all the definitions of what is accounting what is accountancy accounting and bookkeeping okay so first of all let's see what is accountancy see accountancy say is is nothing but it is the systematic knowledge of accounting okay so accountancy is nothing but a systematic knowledge of accounting when we say like that it means that simply we should understand that accountancy is nothing but it is a science okay now it is a science relating to that of accounting we can say now when we use the word science there what is the meaning of a science science is nothing but it is a systematized body of knowledge okay relating to one particular aspect we can say it is a science there okay wherein through years together through centuries together many people have done much research on it and they have developed some particular generalizations and they have developed some particular methods and procedures okay and some techniques they have developed whereby we are able to use them today in our life this is called as a science so simply here we can say accountancy is a science relating to that of accounting that means how the accounting has to be maintained okay how the accounting books are to be maintained why they should be maintained how they should be maintained okay what are the different aspects how we should deal regarding that okay regarding this whatever knowledge is there there is nothing but accountancy we can say so simply as a student here you people are learning accountancy as a subject there in order to acquire that particular knowledge of maintaining books of accounts so that is accountancy so account in other words here a person who is a, who is doing accounting he should have the well versed knowledge about this particular accountancy subject there so accountancy is the science relating to that of accounting we can say now what is accounting okay what is accounting means here see this is the what accounting is accounting is it refers to the actual process of preparing and presenting the accounts it is the art of putting academic knowledge of accountancy into practice so simply this definition clearly explains us okay this particular meaning clearly it says that it is a particular actual process of preparing and presenting the accounts in other words here in the business there whatever accounts we prepare it okay accounts are nothing but they are the aspects relating to that of the business there in other words with the various other events whatever happening whatever transactions and whatever is taking place in the business regarding that everything will be presented by this particular accounts only so here this particular accounting is nothing but it is the actual process in other words it is a particular method which we will adopt there for preparing as well as presenting that particular accounts there so simply here we can say accounting is more an art there okay it is an art in other words here this particular art if you observe art is something which is developed only with the practice so accounting is something which is more up art there than that of a science in other words here the person who is doing accounting he should have the knowledge of this accountancy then only he can apply that particular knowledge into actual practice there so that's why he says it is more an art so art of putting what academic knowledge academic knowledge means the knowledge of accountancy which you have learned in academic okay putting that knowledge in actual practice okay so that is accounting here so normally the in the businesses there the accountant whatever work he does okay it is nothing but the accounting work he does so what does it cover this accounting work it covers okay these particular aspects there so simply in the definition of accounting also will come across these particular aspects what are these see when we go through these particular aspects there clearly we will be able to know okay what is accounting what is accounting what are different aspects are there in accounting just like first he says identifying the transactions and events okay see a transaction is nothing but it is an economic activity which takes place in a business and various other aspects there in other words here whatever economic aspects will be taking place in the business there identifying identifying means here 
this particular account in the in other words the accountant he will first of all he will identify what are those particular transactions what are those economic transactions relating to that of the business there okay what are those particular transactions and events so identifying is the first aspect then again measuring the second one measuring the transactions in the common measuring unit in other words here all those particular economic transactions relating to that of the business they will be measured in terms of a common measuring unit what is the common measuring unit common measuring unit is nothing but it is the rupees okay in other words in our indian currency if you observe in our currency we will be measuring those particular economic units economic events as well as the transactions relating to that of the our business there so the second aspect of accounting is nothing but it is a measuring those particular transactions in other words here any particular businessman normally what he does whatever type of business he is doing it every other transaction he is measuring in terms of rupees there this much okay then similarly this is the first one is identifying the transactions and events relating to that of the business then again measuring those transactions in terms of the common measure of measuring unit there is nothing but rupees then third one recording the transactions and events in the journal see recording the transaction means after identifying the business transactions and after measuring them in terms of the money okay in the measuring unit there they will be recorded in the books of accounts among the books of accounts the first book which we maintain it is called as a journal so in the journal these particular transactions and events they will be recorded okay they will be recorded by way of one particular method there just like in journal we will record it in the chronological order in which these particular transactions and events takes place we will be recording it in the first book called as a journal okay by way of an entry got it see after this particular topic we will be learning about the terminology then then you will be knowing each particular term about what is the transaction what is the journal what is the ledger everything so simply here we can say journal is the first book which we will maintain in the books of accounts there so all the this particular transactions relating to that of the business which are identified and which are measured in terms of the common measuring unit they will be recorded okay in the journal there then again the next one here is classifying the transactions in events classifying means here segregating transactions okay of one particular aspect or grouping transactions of similar type at one particular place is called as classifying this will be done okay how it will be done in the books of accounts means here see in the accounting books there the first we will be maintaining is journal then after that the next we will be having ledger accounts there so ledger is the book of secondary entry wherein different accounts relating to that of the business are maintained in the ledger there so there each particular account which we prepare okay it is nothing but transactions of similar type are grouped as one particular account there okay in the ledger there so there is nothing but classifying the transactions so events they will be classified okay based based upon their nature just like expenses incomes okay relating to each particular type and asset something like that so here classifying the transactions and events there this will be done by recording in the ledger accounts there then again summarizing the transactions and events in the form of income statement and position statements see in the accounting cycle if you observe there summarizing means here the knowing the end result is called as summarizing so normally businessman will summarize his particular business transactions and events in other words after one particular period there after some specific period he wants to know okay here specific period does not mean only one particular month or one year or something like that so normally the businessman will take one particular period there at the end of that particular period he wants to ascertain whether during that particular period how he has performed how his business has performed whether he has made profits or losses or what is the financial position of the business so that he is nothing but that he will be knowing by summarizing it okay by preparing the income statement normally this income statement is also called as a profit and loss account by which he will be ascertaining the profit or loss made in the business then similarly the financial position there okay position statement is nothing but financial position in other words you will one will be able to ascertain the position of the business okay position means here what is the financial position of the business that will be ascertained by preparing the balance sheet we can say okay so this is called as summarizing see observe here in accounting what are the different aspects covered are first one is identifying second one is measuring third one is recording fourth one is summarizing okay the next one here is analyzing the summarized results that means whatever results are summarized in case in case of income statement and position statement they will be summarized here summarized means here here when we are summarizing it in we will be we will be creating some particular relationships between we will be creating some relationships between the different aspects in the financial position 
different aspects in the financial position just like the different variables whatever are there in the income statement and the balance sheet okay we will be preparing different by applying different techniques there they will be analyzing it that means how they should be how they are what a drawback has done okay all these things we will be able to analyze it okay by using different techniques of accounting there okay which you will be learning in the coming subject when you go on the subject there then you will be knowing regarding that particular one by preparing different statements different ratios different techniques okay one will be ascertaining the in other words here they will be calculating it okay by analyzing it okay you know the meaning of analyzing here analyzing is nothing but here to know how that particular aspect is there in the financial statement that will be analyzed here okay this particular in the income statement and position statement whatever different variables are there in the income statement and balance sheet by applying different techniques just like ratio analysis etc they will be analyzed here then again after analyzing it they will be interpreted interpreted means here commenting upon whatever analyzed facts are there on that this particular accountant by he applying his particular academic knowledge and his particular skill he will be able to analyze it how it is how it should be what has gone wrong into that particular one all those aspects are nothing but here interpreting it okay in other words here as an expert not an okay with his particular experience there he will be able to analyze the things and he will be able to interpret on it he will be able to comment on that particular one then after that communicating the interpreted information this particular interpreted information again it will be communicated to the people who need that information okay there are various other interested parties in the business there okay just like the owners are there okay what the owners are there the management is there okay in other words here the creditors are there debtors are there investors are there like this there are various other interested parties the government is there so like this the whatever various parties are there in other words which whoever are having interest in the accounting information there this information has to be passed on to them this particular interpreted information has to be communicated to that particular those particular parties so that they can take their particular decisions relating to that of the business so these are the different aspects which are there in accounting so simply here you can understand there accounting work is more technical in nature than that of the okay this particular accounting work is more technical there when compared to that of the bookkeeping we can say so a particular person who is having the well versed knowledge about this particular science okay that particular person only can do the accounting work so accounting work is of skill it is a both science as well as an art we can say in other words applying that particular science into actual practice okay there is nothing but this particular accounting now coming to the other aspect what is bookkeeping see normally if you observe what is the meaning of bookkeeping in our literal ordinary language if you observe bookkeeping is nothing but maintaining books is bookkeeping okay just like you are having different subjects different books you are maintaining it like that only whatever set of books are being maintained in order to record the business transactions and events okay they are books keeping the books so among this particular bookkeeping okay bookkeeping does not mean simply keeping the books there certain other things also only if you keep the books it will not work it out so bookkeeping involves this particular aspect you can observe it is a part of accounting he says so bookkeeping is also a part of accounting work okay in other words the person who is doing accounting he should have this particular books of accounts in these books of accounts the information relating to the other business should be recorded then only it can be in other words other aspects of this particular accounting work can be carried on there so it is a part of accounting and is concerned with in other words here in the bookkeeping what is it is concerned with it is concerned with the record keeping or maintenance of books of accounts okay so simply here we can say this work is more a clerical work in other words here regular work the same type of repetitive work will be done in case of this particular bookkeeping so simply here we can observe here this particular bookkeeping it is a part of accounting so it is not separate from accounting it is a part and parcel of accounting work there and it is concerned with recording the business transactions okay record keeping as well as maintaining of books of accounts so simply in simple way i will tell you among the business books the first aspect of the first book which is being maintained is nothing but journal so in the journal business transactions are identified okay and they will be recorded by way of an entry okay then again they are measured and they are recorded by way of an entry in journal then again taking the, those journal entries and again posting into our second book of account is nothing but a ledgers there so up to that aspect of bookkeeping is concerned with in other words here identifying the business transaction measuring in terms of the common measure of unit and recording in the journal by way of an entry then again taking that entry and posting into ledger account up to that aspect of bookkeeping work is concerned with okay so it covers us see identifying the transactions and events then measuring and identifying those particular events 
then again measuring and identifying even uh, identified events and transactions they will be measured in terms of the common unit is nothing but in rupees there then again recording the transactions in the events in the books of accounts there by way of an entry in the journal then again taking that particular entry and again recording it into the ledger account by way of classifying the transactions events in the ledger okay in other words here that particular aspect of taking the entry and posting into ledger as a posting into ledger account it is nothing but the classifying so bookkeeping is concerned up to this particular aspect that means simply here you can understand here in the accounting work there the first part we can say it is nothing but a bookkeeping okay in other words keeping the books there for recording the business transactions okay in other words keeping the records and books for maintaining accounting is a a bookkeeping work it is more clerical work so much technical knowledge is not required for a person who is carrying on this particular work okay but after bookkeeping work is being completed whatever other aspects will take place okay observe here what has taken place up to this this is a part of accounting work we said so it has covered identifying measuring and recording then classifying observe here up to classifying then after this work whatever other things are being carried on this can be carried on only by a particular person who is having a well versed knowledge about accountancy okay so then that person who can carry on both the bookkeeping as well as accounting as accounting work okay he is called as an accountant okay but a person who is doing only this particular work there in other words identifying the business transactions and events and measuring them in the common measure of unit then again recording in the books of accounts then again he is classifying it okay in other words recording taking that particular journal entry and posting it to ledger account up to this work whoever is doing it he is called as a bookkeeper okay he is called as a bookkeeper but a person who does other work after this okay he is called as an accountant so this particular accountant he is he will be having a complete knowledge about this particular accountancy he can carry on bookkeeping work as well as the other aspects after book bookkeeping got it so discuss regarding the differences between bookkeeping and accounting see what is bookkeeping what is accounting if you see the differences further this is one particular question which may be asked to you in the exam also so here the difference if you observe this bookkeeping involves these particular aspects identifying the transactions then again measuring the transactions then recording the measured transactions and again classifying the recorded transactions in the books of accounts there then in other words here up to the posting of in the posting done in the ledger accounts there okay now only we have discussed regarding this particular measuring identifying recording and all these things there so up to this particular aspect whereas accounting if you observe accounting in addition to that of the bookkeeping this accounting involves this particular aspect just like summarizing then again analyzing then again interpreting then again communicating this particular interpreted results to the people or the, to the parties who need that particular information see second difference if you observe bookkeeping is of a primary stage primary stage means here initially when the business transactions are identified there they will be recorded by this particular bookkeeper only in the book the, the original book it is nothing but in the journal so it is primarily the basic thing okay bookkeeping is the first thing which will happen whereas if you observe when wherever this particular bookkeeping is completed from there onwards this particular accounting will starts there as you can say accounting is of the second stage then again the object of this particular bookkeeping is nothing but to maintain the systematic records okay which will be giving the information regarding the business there whereas here if you observe accounting the basic objectives of accounting is nothing but to ascertain the net results of the operations which are carried on in the business there in other words here to know whether the profit or loss is being made and again to ascertain the financial position of the business these are the this is the basic objective of accounting we can say now next difference if you observe this particular bookkeeping is performed by the junior staff in other words the junior staff means the newly recruited people who are not having much experience also such type of people also by giving a bit of training they can carry on there so as such in the organization the junior staff will be carrying on this particular bookkeeping whereas accounting work if you observe it is performed by the senior staff only senior staff means here the experienced people normally they will be taking up this particular accounting staff in other words as you have as we have already discussed a person who is having a well versed knowledge about the accountancy will be able to carry on accounting work so it is of higher order so that's why what he says this particular bookkeeping okay can be carried on by by anyone by giving a bit of little training in other words with a bit of training given a particular person will be able to carry on this particular bookkeeping work 
but accounting work it should be in other words the person who is carrying on accounting work he should possess higher level of knowledge and skill okay higher level of knowledge means here knowledge about the accountancy as well as he should have the skill there to take up that particular accounting work which he does then again next difference if you observe bookkeeping may or may not possess analytical bookkeeper may or may not possess analytical skill because the analysis of books of accounts will not be done by the bookkeeper bookkeeper's work is confined only to the top classifying the business transactions by recording it in the ledger there okay whereas here if you see the accountant accountant should in other words he is required to possess analytical skill in other words here this analytical skill will be skill one will be able to have only when he is having apart from the top the knowledge of the subject there knowledge of this particular bookkeeper this particular account accountancy he should also have the experience there okay with the which with which that particular analytical skill will increase so he should have analytical skill in other words he should be able to analyze the the matters or the events or the transactions which are being posted in the ledger accounts there okay so he should have the well versed knowledge about that particular subject as well as the skill and ability to analyze it next if you observe this particular bookkeeping work is much a clerical work we can say it is a routine type of work which is being carried on every day okay in other words identifying the transactions recording them classifying them okay all this is nothing but routinely the same monotonous work will be carried on as such we can say it is of clerical in nature whereas the work of the accountant is more analytical in nature in other words here it depends upon his particular skill ability knowledge experience etc okay next further see bookkeeper does not check the work of an accountant okay bookkeeper okay he will not check the work of the accountant there whereas an accountant he supervises the work of the bookkeeper as well as okay in other words he checks the work done by the bookkeeper so these are the differences between a bookkeeping and accounting see i am trying to give you the best knowledge which i can give to you people so i want you people to subscribe and share this particular video with your friends there so that i will be giving my particular i will be uploading my particular videos as frequently as possible okay after every alternate day i am trying to keep one particular video for you people so that it will be beneficial to you thank you very much subscribe share it and comment on that thank you.